ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. I didn't find a thing, Tunnel. Those outlaws seem to have disappeared into thin air. You find anything suspicious? No, Kimisami. Puzzles me how a group of outlaws can hold up a refinery, kill two guards and ride off with 200 pounds of gold and not leave some kind of a trail. There always some kind of trail. Always find if look in right place. Me find friend from tribe. While me wait for you, me see smoke talk from friend. What brings him to the mining country? Him ride to me Tonto. Me go meet him. Bring him back here. All right, Tonto, but do it fast. Those outlaws have a head start. Meanwhile, I'll try to pick up their trail. I get all frazzled inside, ambling along like this, not knowing what's ahead or what's behind. Why, Brother Flint, the railway station lies ahead. We got company. Where? Up on a ridge, an Indian. You reckon he's trailing us? Bandits, maybe, not us. I'm just a poor, lone preacher taking the body of his dear departed wife to the railroad. Ah, uh, cut it. What about the Indian? Forget him. I'd forget him about easy if he was dead. Brother Beasley, you talk like a sinful man. Can't it percolate through your skull that we don't care if we're spotted? That's the reason for this getup. What did you shoot him for? Just making sure. Why, well, you trigger crazy galoot. If anybody saw that, we're as good as finished. I ain't taking no chances. If he was trailing us, he's dead. If he wasn't trailing us, he's just unlucky. Let's get moving, Rocky. I want to see that train. Watani. Watani. Black hat. Who do this? You see who do this? Many bad men this country. We see white men kill other white men. Take gold. Why him shoot me? Me no have gold. You see him steal gold? Same man who shoot you? Black. Why someone kill him? Him not have enemies. Him come from far away, and him have no gun, Kimisani. Whoever shot him never gave him a chance. We find that man, Kimisabe. We look for him and we find him? Yes, Tano, we'll find him. I don't know how or where to begin looking. But I give you my word, he won't get away. Before him die, friend says something about Black Hat. What that mean, Kimisabe? Black Hat? That doesn't help much. Lots of men in this territory wear black hats. Ox wagon go by near where him die, me saw tracks. Three, four horsemen ride, go with wagon. That's a little unusual. Horsemen traveling beside anything as slow as an ox wagon. Any other sign? No, Kimisami. Which way'd they go? Railroad. Maybe the horsemen traveling beside the wagon saw something or heard the shots. We'll go after them, Tano. At least it's a starting point. And me get horses ready? Yes. wearing a mask. You don't suppose someone's gonna try and pull a hold up on us? That's just dandy. Dressed like this to fool a posse and makes us fair game for any road agents. Keep the hardware out of sight. More than likely they're friends. If not, we're four against two. Good 
morning, brethren. Good morning. Brothers, it's a sinful thing you're doing, riding around the countryside, robbing innocent people. That isn't my business at all. A man who wears a mask is a man of evil. Brothers, forsake your sinful ways. Walk the path of honest. This mask is on the side of law and order. Sure, just like us. But look, mister, this is a funeral. You're holding it back. Deacon. Deacon. Brothers, how can you intrude upon a man in his grief? The wife of my bosom lies in that coffin. My friends, the deacons of my church, are helping me bring her back east to her final resting place. Now, go. Leave us to our sorrow. Why you not ask him about my friend? They may be here shot. I know that man's no preacher. He's a fake. How you know that? Because of the way he talks. Preachers don't talk like that. He only thinks they do. I may not understand. I'm beginning to understand several things. Tano, what do the Indians sometimes call missionaries and preachers? Black robes, sometimes black hat. Wait, Tano. Him killed Tano's friend. We can't prove that. I may be wrong, I'm only guessing. Him black hat. Yes, maybe a real black hat. Maybe the whole thing is real. We can't try to force a confession out of them until we're sure they have something to confess. But you not asked them anything. When I realized they must be fakes, I also realized they probably had us covered. And what we do? We'll cut around those hills and get to the railroad before them. A lot of hours before the train is due. A lot of things can happen before then. Let's go. Bandits, Kimisabi? No, Tano. I have a plan which calls for a doctor. We'll hide our horses near here and go find one. Look, Tano. That's the man. Gentlemen, I ain't got no money. I only dream about it. <laughs> Mask doesn't always mean a hold up. I'd like you to cooperate on something. Like uh, robbing the express office, maybe? <laughs> Good. There's enough gold bullion ticketed there for the afternoon train to keep us in mansions for 90 years. <laughs> Come on, let's rob the express office, huh? That's not the kind of cooperation I meant. Oh? Engine? You keep your eyes off my scalp. You can't have it. Watch. <laughs> Bet you never saw a scalp like this one before, did you? <laughs> Portable, removable. That's everything but button on. Wait a minute. I'll show you something else. Just don't move, gentlemen. Don't even twitch a muscle. Now, what was it you wanted? You don't need that, doctor. No. Tell me why, but without moving. Sign says you're the county health officer. Yep, new position, just created. Also veterinarian, undertaker, MD, and dead shot with either hand. Which department uh, would interest you, gentlemen? Undertaker and county health officer. Well, is the man dead or, uh, or is that just a plan? <laughs> it isn't a man, doctor, it's a woman. I don't think she's dead, and I doubt whether she ever existed. Well, that makes everything perfectly clear. Doctor, have you heard about the killings at the gold refinery in Broken Bend? Yep, got away with 200 pounds of gold, didn't they? Or was it you? I ask you to pay no attention to my mask. It doesn't hide an outlaw. But I think there is an outlaw hiding in the clothes of a parson. <laughs> That's a new trick. <laughs> I'm guessing the men who killed the guards at the refinery are bringing the gold here to ship it out of the southwest by train. I'd like you to use your official position to find out if my guess is right. You mean they're, they're bringing the gold here to the railway station? Yes, in a coffin. No. In a coffin, Doctor. I'm more and more sure of it. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't the undertaker. <laughs> Being the county health officer gives you the right to inspect the coffin, doesn't it? Does, if I make such a rule. 
And I make it here and now. Thank you for your gentle care. Orson, I'm Dr. Smithers. This is Sheriff Healy. Pleased, brethren, pleased. What's your name, Parson? Parson Weatherby. This is Deacon Jones, Deacon Brown, Deacon Bailey. They're nervous, Tabo. Get ready, they may draw. I may mean, not like that, Doctor. Why do you say that? Not know, uh, only feel. Him laugh too much, but him laugh only with mouth. That's exactly the way I feel about him. This whole thing will come to a head in the next half a minute when he tries to inspect the coffin. After that, he'll be out of the situation. A sheriff, him good man. Yes, but so worried about the gold in this safe, he hasn't time to think about the gold stolen from the refinery. And no man pulls a nail out of that coffin and gets away with the whole scant. Don't draw. Deacon, Deacon. Gunplay? Now, you men carry that box into the office and pry up the lid. The express agent has got a crowbar. I'll take care of my department, Sheriff. Sheriff. This calls for a little more delicacy and tact. You're not riding at the head of a posse, running down a gang of desperados. Well, what do you want to do? Parson, would you mind coming into my office and talking the matter over there? I think that after a few minutes, we can settle the whole thing. Doc, I don't understand you. Oh, I don't mind that, Sheriff. Well, Parson, what about it? You come with me. Yeah. Hey, you bet I will. Why? Here comes the sheriff. What's happening? That doc, he always wants to do things his way. Where'd they go? To Doc's office to palaver some more. Say, are you sure those fellows are fakes? This is a ticklish business. This counterfeit is a lead dollar. The office, eh? Hello. He's gone. Come in, gentlemen. Come in and make yourselves at home. That's right. <laughs> Pull up a chair and sit down. <laughs> yes, yeah, sit down and uh, let's talk about a... Uh, a coffin load of gold. <laughs> My wife is in that coffin. I am Parson Drobbit. All right, chum. Let's talk and start talking fast. You haven't got much time. None of us have very much time, gentlemen. The train is due here in just a few minutes. How do you know what's in that box? Two hundred pounds of gold. A hundred pounds for each man you killed at the refinery up there at Broken Bend. Who else knows about that? Enough people to make me feel reasonably secure. Now, gentlemen, you can't get that gold out of here unless I help you. And I'm perfectly willing to help you. <laughs> I've been waiting for something like this to happen. This fellow's no doctor. He's a crook. Oh, no, 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 not yet. But only for lack of opportunity, I assure you. Now, you haven't got one now. Oh, yes, I have. I don't come empty-handed, gentlemen. Neither do we, doctor. Neither do we. Put that thing away, will you? I mean to contribute to our fortunes. 200 pounds of gold isn't going to fill a great big coffin, but the gold over there in the express office will do it very nicely. We've got enough right now. Oh, it? Deacon, there's never enough. How do we get past the sheriff? Oh, he trusts me. The hard one to beat will be that fellow with the black mask. The black mask? I told you I'd hunt about those critters. They were after us. Yes. And I can figure it now that I think about that Indian. He's hooked up some way with the one you shot. They're after us for that killing. Ah, oh, you're crazy. There wasn't anybody for miles around. That's right. He did say there was an Indian killed. Yes, we spotted this redskin watching us from the top of a hill. I wanted to let him go, but Beasley here had to shoot him. For practice, I guess. Now, well, what's the difference? He's only some dirty... Here, 
let me finish him. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What about the fellow in the mask? Let's keep the noble redskin alive until he can answer a few questions. We'll finish him. An Indian won't talk. It all depends upon the approach, my friend. I happen to have the surgeon's approach. Reach, all of you. Doctor, this is a scalpel, my friend. Sharp as a razor and pointed as a needle. Now, if you were to shoot me through the head or the heart, causing instantaneous death, I would naturally fall forward, pressing the scalpel down. And you would lose a pal. You're not bluffing. <laughs> oh, no. There's no need for you to die, Doctor. You haven't committed a hanging crime yet. It's these men I'm after. But I don't want you to capture these men. We've become partners. But I will commit a hanging crime in just about five seconds unless you drop those guns. Doc, you're all right. Well? No, Kimisabi. Them kill you, too. You keep quiet. We'll do nothing of the kind. All right, I'll have to take your word for it. Now that we've got them, what'll we do with them? There's only one thing that'll satisfy me. The train. Blows its whistle as he passes Blaze Rock. Let's get back to the station. What about these hombres? They're not very important. Let's lock them up. Come on. Get into this closet. They'll get out. They'll come after us. They won't get out of this closet. Not for a long time. We don't want any shooting. Nothing that'll cause alarm. Wait. I know a way to get rid of them without making any noise. Why don't you listen to the doc? What do we do now? Well, first I'll have to get rid of that sheriff. Then make the station agent open up the safe. Load all that gold into the coffin and flag down the train. Come on. It's no use, Taro. It's my fault, Kimisabi. We make noise by accident. That's all right, Tano. Wait, the key. It's still there. Tano, hand me that newspaper. station. I'll catch up to you. You can buy a million wigs what we've got. I know, but I want this one now. Come on. Oh. Him not get out very soon. What kept you? A little change in our plan. Doc Smithers must have given him a clean bill of health. Anyway, he didn't come back. The train will be along very soon. I know. Come on, let's get this box in there. Hey, they're bringing it in here. A disgrace. A disgrace. Now, Doc Smithers is a mighty hard man to please. Says if he can't see the deceased, we don't go aboard the train. Where is he? Oh, coming along. Where's the crowbar? Frank, bring the crowbar. This is an outrage. I'm sorry about this, Parson. Yeah, sure, so am I. Here, finish opening this thing. What are we doing this for? We got enough. There'll be more for the rest of us if you don't shut up. Watch those doors. Now you, open that safe. There's not much in it. That tin star wasn't guarding no empty safe. There's gold bullion in there. Go on. You, you are not a parson. The masked man was right. Oh, come on, get at it. I reckon that's about the prettiest body in the whole wide west. Folks coming to meet the train. We get back outside and keep them out of here. And what if they want to come in? Then pull a gun, but not before. Get him high, gents. Drop your gun and put your hands behind your head. Just 
Smart idea holding my partner for a shield. Drop yours to the floor, mister. Sure. What a fight. A mixed coffin bandit's use be their own. Yes, Tonto. I'll see to that. Flint is dead, and your pal Beasley's going next. He's having a bad time of it. It's a fine time for the town's only undertaker to be locked up. Let me out, will you, Sheriff? I'll split my fee with you. You're not going to split anything but rocks for a long time to come, Doc. And you fellas are going to split the air, hanging from the end of a rope. No, because Beasley had to shoot an Indian and get us snarled up with a man in a mask. That Beasley. We had us a good plan. Hey, Sheriff. Who is that masked man? I'd like to see him when I get out of here and settle a score. You aim to tangle with him again? Yep. Better not. He's the Lone Ranger. I don't feel 